Today I'm coming to you from lovely France where we're spending a week cave diving and we're about to head home after a nice dive in this cave and I just wanted to um, share with you a little short explanation on gas plan and on our what we call rock bottom gas um, reserve. So rock bottom is the amount of gas in liters referred to in bar to your tank size that we want to keep to bring a diver to the next gas source or the surface, whichever may be the first. So when we plan our dive, when we calculate our rock bottom, we can see where do we start our ascent, how long does it take for us to get up, and how much gas will we consume during that ascent. And that number is gonna be our reserve and what we call rock bottom. Then we relate that amount of liters to our tank size to get a pressure. Then when we know that pressure, we can deduct that from the total filling pressure, and then we get the re remaining gas of which we can plan our dive with. And then depending on what kind of dive we're making, we're using, we're using one of three gas plans, either all usable, where we're swimming around and just come up whenever we've used all the available gas up until rock bottom, halves, when we plan to swim out and swim back in, and then if something happens we can go up and of course you make a decision on the dive site if that is you know feasible or safe to do so or in in the case of caves or other penetration dives we use thirds where we use a third of our available gas source to come in a third to come back and then we have a third for our body if in worst case scenario an air sharing scenario arises furthest away from the ascend line or exit point so to give you an example, this is a really, really good example of uh, a gas plan that works like that. And this is why on our way back from the dive, I, I got inspired to make this little video. So in this case, we're gonna go in here. I don't know if you can see it, but the, the water, the bottom goes off a little slope here. And it basically goes into the entrance of the cave and almost vertically goes down to 30 meters. Then it rises up to 20 and then we're gonna just slowly roll 20, 12, 9, 12 to up until where we turned around and we came back, dip down to 30 and come back out. So when we calculated our rock bottom, we decided 30 meters is the plan, uh, is the deepest depth of this dive and also happens to be right here at the exit of the cave. We couldn't make a straight ascent, but it was almost straight ascent. So it's a swimming ascent up. So when we do the math, we're going to see, okay, what does it take? How long does it take to make an ascent from 30 meters to the surface? To make this calculation, we give ourselves one minute at the bottom to deal with whatever issue arises that validates an air share. So let's say an out of air scenario. So we give ourselves one minute at depth to deal with that scenario. Then we ascend, in this case was a non-decompression dive, up to 50% of our depth with an ascent rate of 10 meters per minute. So from 30 to 20, it's one minute. From 20 to 15, we'll calculate also at one minute, we'll just round up. So that's two minutes for the ascent plus one minute for the emergency. That means three minutes. Then we have one minute at 15, one minute at 12, one minute at nine, one minute at six, and one minute at three. So that's an additional five minutes. So the total ascent time is eight minutes. So the math goes, eight minutes, two divers will share gas using 30 liters per minute. It's our emergency scenario gas usage. 15 liters when you're completely relaxed on an upline, 20 liters per minute when you're swimming around, 30 liters per minute when you're stressed. So in this case, we'll use 30 liters per minute. So two divers, eight minutes, 30 liters per minute, and then we got to relate it to the depth. Now, obviously we're not spending eight minutes at 30 meters. We're not spending eight minutes at the surface either. So we got to find our average depth. In this case, we'll use 15 meters, which is 2.5. So we got eight minutes, two divers, 30 liters per minute, 2.5 atmosphere. That gives us 1200 liters of gas. Meaning we're gonna use 1200 liters of gas to get two divers up to the surface, in this case, 
the surface is the nearest gas source because we weren't using stages or deco bottles. 1200 liters in a double 12 tank, twin set, is 50 bar. So our rock bottom was 50 bar. Then we go and say, hey, what is this plan? We're going to look at the map of, of the people who've been here, the draw a map, and we can calculate what we're going to do or, or decide what we're going to do. Now we know what we have to keep as a reserve, 50 bar. Our tanks were filled to 230, so we had 180 bar to use. So the rules of third mean 60 bar in, 60 bar out, 60 bar reserve. 3 times 60 is 180. So now we knew we can swim inside the cave until we've used 60 bar from our total filling pressure. So 230 minus 60 is 170. So at 170 bar, we turn around and exit the dive. Come back up and come out of the water. All the time we're doing this dive, we're looking at our depth, we're looking at our time, we're calculating our average depth, calculating our gas usage, guesstimating our gas consumption and our, 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 our SPG reading, then looking at the SPG to confirm what you've already calculated. Instead of just look at the, man at the SPG and waiting, it, waiting for it to drop up until the agreed upon pressure. Doing it the other way requires a little bit of more thinking, but it makes you more proactive as a diver and it makes you more in, to, uh, in tune with your equipment. Let's say your manifold is shut off, your SPG is on the left post, you're breathing on your long hose, which is on the right post, your SPG will not drop. So doing the calculation and then checking your SPG makes you more aware of small failures like that. All right, so I hope this little video give you a little bit of insight in the gas plan and the truth behind rule of thirds. So if you ever come to France, you at least know how to make a proper safe gas plan. Safe diving guys, see you out there.